everyone, it is Saturday. Welcome to a new vlog. Um, oh wait, is it? Yeah, it's technically still Saturday. Um, I had a really good day in terms of reading. I read the first few chapters of A Curse So Dark and Lonely. So I put the bookmark in just to make sure I was interested in it. And it actually did catch my interest. Um, so I put the bookmark in on between page 52 and 53. So I'll start 53 uh, tomorrow. Um, and then I got a notification that the audiobook I had on hold for the final six came in. So I just like sat down and like listened to the whole book. It was really, like, I enjoyed it. This this kept my interest. So maybe I think I need to start try a sci Ooh, maybe I should reread Illuminate. Oh, why would I do that to myself, though? It hurts. Oh, but it's so good. Oh, right, maybe we'll do Illuminate. Okay, yeah. Um, so I started and finished The Final Six by Alexandra Muneer. And I'm really curious to see about the sequel. And then I did a start and finish of An Affair of Poisons by Addie Thorley. So I finished two books today. Very happy with that. Um, and got started on a third one. And um, I don't know what one I want to joint read. I'm still confused as to why this book is like a New York Times bestseller, I think now, like number one or close to it. And like there's still no audiobook for it. I don't understand what they're doing with their lives. I, I want to hear fairy tales on audio while I read along. Um, but I think um, w reading along with an audiobook tomorrow. Maybe you should start the Lady Julia series. Or Illuminae. Oh, we'll see. Maybe the Lady Julia series. That might be a good idea, because I really got into Deanna Rayborn um, this month, and I think that was part of the book hangover. Okay, maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah. Um, and then I was left alone unsupervised in a drugstore, so, and it's a long weekend and nothing to do, so I bought hair dye, so we're going to see how this comes in. <laughs> it's supposed to be purple, so we'll see. Um... I lasted like a whole like six or eight weeks or whatever being like, I won't dye my hair for six months. Yeah, that doesn't happen with me. Um, but yeah, it's been my day. Um, tomorrow game plan is to finally clean my car. It's been like two years. I'm scared. Um, and do some reading. Definitely do some reading and just relax. And I do have to film probably the, the Tuesday video. I was going to do like a rating or reviewing one star reviews of your favorite books, but there's just like a lot of stuff happened in Canada over the last like week that I really wanted to talk about in relation to libraries. So I think I'm going to do another rambling library and on that topic. So that's probably what I'll do. That one kind of makes me angry, so we'll see if I'm in the mood to do that tomorrow or on Monday. But either way, that's the game plan, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hi everyone, it's um, Monday actually. I don't know if I vlogged yesterday on Sunday. If I didn't, um, I read Illuminae um, by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman, and I read Silent at Silent in the Grave by Deanna Rayborn, the, the Lady Grey. No, sorry, not Lady Grey. The Lady Julia series. Sorry, her name's Julia Grey. Um, and then this morning I... Well, not this morning. I started, and then this afternoon I finished Silent at the Sanctuary, which is book two of Lady Julia. And then I am working on... Whoops. Uh, A Curse of Dark and Lonely. I was just didn't feel like picking it up yesterday, but I picked it up today. Um, and I am exhausted now. My dogs keep waking me up and not letting me actually sleep in at all which is infuriating. Um, and then I had a doctor's appointment this morning, so I was a little bit, um, like, couldn't really go back to sleep after that. But I am putting the bookmark in now on page 104, which is chapter 13 um, with Harper. I'm enjoying it. Um, it's I'm still waiting for it. Everyone was like, oh, it's so different. You, you, it's... I have, like, this beef. Beauty and the Beast, I feel like retellings are just, like, a publisher cop-out money grab. Like, I, I'm yet to really read one. Like, Akatar is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but it's a retelling of a bunch of other things, too. And it's really good. But, like, other than that, like, I've never really read any Beauty and the Beast retelling that was worth it. Like, I found, like, what was the one by Megan Spooner Hunted, was it? To be, like, literally just a carbon copy. Like, I didn't like it. Um... And so everyone was like, I was very hesitant to pick this one up for that reason, because I just, yeah. Um, but everyone's like, oh, it's it's like really different. It's 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 its own thing. Like it's not like it's a retelling, not a remake, and whatever. I'm still waiting for that remake uh, thing to stop because it literally is just Beauty and the Beast so far. I'm on page 104, and it's just Beauty and the Beast. So um, that being said, I am enjoying it actually. It's like the writing and everything it m m meshes with me much more. Um, than uh, hunted 
did. Is it hunted or? Yeah, yeah, hunted. Because I know Megan Spooner had like one call. Sherwood. That's what. Yeah, the Robin Hood retelling. So I was thinking of yeah. So it was hunted. Um, but yeah, so I'm putting the bookmark in now. Um, I edited my Tuesday video today too, um, which is. Um, I think I've already said this in a vlog or whatever, but I was going to do the um, reading one star reviews of your favorite books. Um, but then there was this whole like budget cut thing in Ontario about library services and interlibrary loans that it became apparent to me that people didn't know exactly what they were talking about when they were talking about it. So um, I did a video on that because Rambling Library and is just trying to explain like things about libraries to people. And I feel like it's kind of a time sensitive thing so I put that one in and then next week will be the TBR and then whenever I have an open week again I'll do the um, reading one star reviews and yeah I'm yeah I have to go back to work tomorrow I had Friday Saturday and Sunday and Monday off which was wonderful and I got a ton of reading done um, and yeah that's that's it and um, yeah, I'll see you all later. Hi everyone, it's Tuesday. What are you doing? Um, it's Tuesday evening. I'm about to go to bed. Um, but I started... Oh, hold on. Let me pick it up. If I can pick it up. Um, I started and finished a reread. <laughs> like it's in today as a reread. I just freaking love this book so much. Um, it's so good. And... Ooh, that dropped. There. And I noticed the sequel doesn't have a title, but it does have a date in, uh, I think it's like August 4th or August 6th, 2020. So I'm excited about that. Um, I also worked a little bit more on A Curse of the Dark and Lonely. And I really got into it today, actually. It really, it wasn't slow before. It just really like geared up and picked up. So I got to page 254 to the end and then I'm starting chapter 30, which is 255. So I read about another 150 pages tonight. Um, really enjoyed, but it's like quarter to 12, so I have to go to bed. <laughs> um, I would keep reading otherwise. I'm really enjoying that one now. And hopefully I can finish that tomorrow. I'm not going to start another audiobook or anything. I want to focus on finishing this. Um, and yeah. That's it. I don't know what this week will look like. I have my conference in Jasper this week. So I'm not coming back until Sunday um, afternoon. So I don't really have time to film any of my wrap up a review. Um, and then I'll find time to do my Tuesday video sometime too. I don't know. It might just come out later on Sunday. Um, it really depends on how quick we can get back and when we leave and everything from Jasper. So um, yeah. It's, that's been my day, and hopefully my, my mailbox will be unfrozen by the end of the week. That's the goal. My landlord's dealing with Canada Post, but other than that, nothing super crazy happened. I'm just super tired and getting a lot of reading done. I've read a lot of really good books this week. I feel like I'm back to my normal reading, reading self, which is, which is good. So I'm very happy about that. And that is all for today. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Hi everyone, it's actually Thursday, but pretend it's Wednesday. Um, I uh, finished, oops, I could pick the book up. I finished A Curse of Dark and Lonely last night um, by Bridget Kemmerer. Kem um, and then I just started a little bit of Blood Witch. Just got to chapter nine, which is page, oh, that's seven. I forgot to put my bookmark in the right place. Mm which is page 75. So I'm going to try and squeeze in um, chapters here and there while I'm in Jasper. And I'm also bringing my copy of Wild Savage Stars in case I want to pick that up. Um, and yeah, so I have to head to work now and start making my way to Jasper. Um, so maybe this video will include a couple, I don't know, geese or elk or something. I don't know. For like the third year in a row that I've gone on this conference, we always get bad weather, and it's supposed to be bad weather again while I'm there, which is unfortunate, but Jasper's still like insanely pretty with the mountains and everything. So um, that's where I'm going. If the video is late, that is why. Same thing with Sunday, because I don't get back until Sunday afternoon. Um, I don't know when the wrap-up will be up. It'll be up, though, eventually. <laughs> and yeah, that's my day, and I will touch base later. All right, so it's still Thursday, and like, got to Jasper, and like, 
we like got real lucky and we got put in like the newly renovated suites and like I'm a single human being and I have a like two queen beds <laughs> Um, but I had a couple hours to myself, so I started reading Wild Seven Stars by Christina Perez, and it's so good. Um, I'm putting the bookmark in now because I have to go to dinner, but I'm putting the bookmark in. Um, there's no chapter numbers, but page 80 is where I finished off, so I'm hoping, depending on how tired I am, I can get to like page 150 tonight. It would be really good, but we'll see if I end up doing anything after dinner. So that is the plan, and I got to like page 70 or something of The Blood Witch, too, so... Got more reading done today than I thought I would, so, yeah. Okay, so it's still Thursday. Um, I ate an offensive amount of cheesecake, so I want to sleep now, so there's no more reading happening tonight. Um, but I walked through the pre-exhibit conference um, room, and I picked up a couple arcs. Wicked Fox by Cat Chill. I'm so excited about this one. Um, it's set in Seoul, and it's like a contemporary fantasy, which I seem to be, like, driving with right now. Um, I also got The Demon World by Sally Green, which is the sequel to, um, Smoke Thieves, which I really liked. I'm so excited about that one. Um, I also got Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. This one comes out, like, really soon, um, I think. In June or July. Um, another fantasy Asian author. Um, and The Spinner of Dreams by K.A. Reynolds, um, which is middle grade. And she's a Canadian author, which is awesome. Um. Yeah, that's been my day, and I'm just going to crash now because I'm so tired, <laughs> and we'll see you all later. Hi everyone, it's Friday. Um, this morning I read a little bit more, listened uh, to a little bit more of Blood Witch, and I got to chapter 13, so I think I'm about probably close to the 100 page mark. Um, I have a couple hours before dinner, so I am going to pick up Wild Savage Stars and try and get at least a page 100. Um, I accumulated an offensive amount of arcs today. <laughs> so I got 15, <laughs> 15 arcs today. Man, I was like going at the end of this month being like, wow, I've like bought like less than 10 books. Like I've done really good this month for me anyways. So um, a decent amount of these are, are books that have since been released, but they're just kind of like unhauling their old arcs. Um, but I got For Dreaming Darkly um, by Caitlin Ker Ked Kidridge. Um, I hadn't really heard much about this, but someone had it, uh, one of my friends had it for her most anticipated read of the year. So I'm really curious about this. Um, I think it's supposed to be like a horror mystery. Um, and then I picked up an arc of The Strangers uh, by Margaret Peterson Haydix. I'm curious because they don't normally foil um, arcs, but this one has a foil. And this is just a relatively new release. It came out earlier this month. Um, I also got an arc, I'm so excited, of Heroin by Mindy McGuinness. I haven't read this yet. I haven't bought it yet. Um, she's an author I really enjoy, though, and I know it's about the opioid crisis. And she always, like, hits you in the feels. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I also got an arc of The Brilliant Death by Amy Rose Capetta. This came out in 2018. Yeah, October 2018. Um, I've heard very mixed or like nothing about it, um, but I'm really curious. Um, I also got a book called Shouting at the Rain by Linda Mullally Hunt. It's a middle grade Um the, she wrote a book called Fish in a Tree, which has apparently won a bunch of awards. So there's that one. I also, I picked up a copy of this last year. And then my friend Muriel, like, is obsessed with Jay Kristoff. So I read it and then sent it to her. Um, but I picked up my own copy of Life Like Now. This book came out last May. But they had leftover arcs. So I picked that up. So I have one for my own collection now. And then I picked up Deviate because they have the sequel arc out. I'm so excited about this. Um, and it comes out, I think they pushed publication to June. Um, because he had two books coming out in May. Only Jay Kristoff would have three books coming out in a year only um, that he actually writes. Um, then I got an arc of Hello Girls by Brittany Cavallaro and Emily Henry. This is the Thelma and Louise retelling. Um, it's coming out August, I think. Let me check. I think it's August 6th. Um, and I enjoyed Brittany Cavallaro's um, Charlotte Holmes series, so I'm curious about that. I've also been debating buying this next book, for a while because I haven't really heard anything about it and I know it was in verse and I've never really read a full book in verse which I'm going to try and get to soon um but the language of fire jo uh, Joan of Arc reimagined um by Stephanie Hemphill um the cover is kind of hard to see the writing on but you can see the spine there it comes out in July I want to say yeah um 
the extraordinary verse novel from Prince Honor winner Stephanie Hemphill dares to reimagine the life of Joan of Arc, who was a teenage girl in the 15th century, commanded an army and helped France, uh, help crown um, a king of France. Um, I've been, that's been on, my, my eye's been on that book for quite a while. Um, I also got a copy of Grave Maidens by Kelly Kuhn. I'm so excited for this. This is coming out in December. I'm kind of surprised they had an arc of it. Um, yeah, December 3rd. Um, three chosen maidens, two lovely sisters, one dark tradition. So I'm really, really interested in that one. I hope it's good. Um, this was pitched in a session I had as like um, uh, writing with player one sort of influences. So Girl Gone Viral by Arvin Amadi. From what they were like, how they were talking about it, it sounds a little bit like um, what was the Marie Lu one book that came out? Not Wild Card, but the first one, Warcross. It sounds a little bit like Warcross with some um, Ready Player One combination. I also got, I know, um, The Incredible True Story of the Making of the Eve of Destruction by Amy Brashier. This came out a couple months ago now. Um, I think in March? Sorry, geez, November 2018. Um, I love the title of this book and the cover is really cool. I really want to read it. Um, I also got Through the White Wood by Jessica Leek. This comes out really soon, or it came out last Tuesday. Oh, yeah, oh, a couple of Tuesdays, April 9th. So it's technically out now. She wrote Beyond the Dark and Shore. I don't, I haven't read Beyond the Dark and Shore yet. It's on my TBR, I think, for May or June. So I'm really curious about that, but that's awesome. Um, another one that was mentioned in the session I had today was Lenny's Book of Everything by Karen Foxley. It sounds really interesting. There's this poor family and they win her their mom wins a contest of like this is in like the seventies or something like that. And they win um like an encyclopedia set. So once a month or whatever they get sent uh another volume of the encyclopedia and they like go through it, the younger brother and sister. Um, which just sounds just like it could be fun middle grade. Um and then finally the downstairs girl by Stacy Lee. I'm so curious about this. I've seen this cover for a little while now. Um, it comes out in August, I want to say. Yes, August. Um, some secrets just won't stay buried. 17-year-old Joe Hahn works as a lady's maid for the cruel daughter of one of the wealthiest men in Atlanta. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. She moonlights as um, a newspaper advice columnist. Um, so I'm really happy with all those books I got. Um, so I'm going to very quickly edit this vlog, uh, hopefully throw it up. I think the internet's been working quite well, so hopefully that all will happen. Um, and then try and read at least a couple more pages of Wild Savage Stars. And I don't know if I'm going to get any more reading done tonight after dinner. It's been a very busy, draining day. Um, but yeah, so I've accumulated like 19 books so far today. This conference, oh my gosh. Oh, and then like, I got a Tumblr, which is cool too, because my dog, one of my dogs broke my one last summer or so. So it's been, it's been an interesting day. And the sessions have gone to have been actually really, really, really fantastic. So it's been a good conference so far. And that is this week. And I will see you all maybe Sunday evening with the wrap-up video, hopefully. Um, we'll see.